have some of that, Scousers. Get in there. Hey, everyone, it's Mr. Flying Pig HD here for the Full Time Devils YouTube channel. Hey, Scousers, how does it feel to have something stolen from you for a JJ? I'm just kidding around, obviously, but I'm buzzing because we picked up the, the three points in the game there at Anfield. We shouldn't really have got it. We were so lucky. Liverpool were the better side, in my opinion. Louis Van Gaal, once again, or as I like to call him, Lucky Van Gaal, because I don't know how he's still in the job. Well, I do, actually. It's that man, David De Gea, in between the sticks. He keeps performing. He's so good. He's such a top quality player. We need to do everything we possibly can to keep hold of him forever because he's the reason Louis van Gaal's got the job at the moment, in my opinion. Another game where he's rescued us. He's made a few world-class saves against a side who were dominating us, had more chances than us. And, uh, and we're very fortunate to come away with the three points in that game. It really is a smash and grab performance. Liverpool from the off looked, uh, looked better than us. They looked quick, quicker than us. Their speed of play was better. Their tempo, uh, the penetration they got forward. They created opportunities. They think they finished the game with something like 19, 20 shots on goal. Manchester United, on the other hand, we actually had one shot on target in the entire game. But we've got the, the three points. So Wayne really converted that chance. A great goal it was as well. Marouane Fellaini had a hand in the goal who I thought was completely terrible. Terrible today. I don't know how Louis van Gaal keeps picking him in his United side, but he continues to get out there. But he actually had an effect today in a positive fashion because he's got the assist effectively for Wayne Rooney's winner. Um, it was a great ball in from Juan Mata to Marouane Fellaini, the big tree, who's managed to uh, get it onto the framework of the goal. It's a good header, and uh, fortunately, it's pounced back to Wayne Rooney, bounced back to Wayne Rooney's pounced on it and put it past. Minule in the Liverpool goal to give us the victory today. But it wasn't a great performance from us. It wasn't even a good performance from us. It was a bad performance from Manchester United today, I would say. In a, in a, in a, a, a such a heated rival game against Liverpool there at Anfield, you'd expect us to be creating more chances, have a bit more fire. There was barely ever, even any yellow cards today, which is going to show you the type of game it was. Um, you know, it, it, it just wasn't the sort of fire and tempo and, and uh, type of game you expect to see when you watch Manchester United versus Liverpool. And that's really worrying to me. I think Liverpool held up their end of the bargain. They absolutely went for it. Manchester United looked, once again, pretty toothless, lacking that penetration. And it also quite vulnerable at the back, which is a big worry as well. Players playing all out of position. Louis van Gaal, I don't know if he knows what's going on, but he's got this time to the end of the season, whether it's right or, or, or wrong. But in my opinion, he needs to start getting Manchester United playing a lot more fluidly a lot more attacking wise because going away there we we're very fortunate to pick up the three points and really we should have been trying to create a lot more chances and uh, and uh, hurting Liverpool when they were committing so many numbers forward and you know they had us hemmed in at a lot of times it really was a frustrating performance for Manchester United a terrible one I'd say but we've got the result and that's all that really matters have some of that scousers you know how unlucky are you but there you go. You, they're even worse than us at the moment. If there's one team who are, who are underachieving and doing worse than Manchester United at the moment, it's those clubs Liverpool. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about it below. Who was your man of the match? For me, it's, it can only be one man. It was David De Gea, once again, impeccable. Get commented below. Thank you very much for watching this video for the full time. Then we'll subscribe to their channel below and chuck a like on this video. You can come and check out my YouTube channel at Mr. Flying Pig HD for a bit more analysis on the game. And until next time, have yourself a good one and have some of that, Scousers.